officers from the city of Delfield and the village of Heartland Police Department uh, responded to a call from service, for service. Uh, shots were exchanged. Uh, one officer from my department, one officer from Heartland are injured. Um, they're at the hospital uh, being treated. Uh, it's not life threatening from my understanding. Uh, the suspect is still at large. There's an incredible amount of resources here right now searching for that person uh, and we hope to uh, apprehend him and uh, deal with that shortly is as soon as we can. Is the suspect armed? Yes. And then uh, so the two officers went to the hospital, non-life threatening injuries. Correct. Uh, one suspect you believe or more than one? One suspect. One suspect. What was the call for service? Uh, my understanding was there was, uh, uh, they actually heard what they thought was a hit and run crash and they responded directly to that as the call was coming through. Do you have anyone in custody right now? Uh, there are two people in custody. They were not actively involved in the shooting incident itself. What message do you want to get out to the public right now? A lot of people woke up to those alerts on their phone. What do you want them to know? Uh, well, we would like people to help us out by staying out of the area. Uh, but be assured, as I said before, there's a, a tremendous amount of resources here. We have uh, State Patrol, I think every department in the county, the Sheriff's Department, Jefferson County Sheriff, Washington County Sheriff. Uh, I saw somebody from uh, the Marshal Service. Uh, the FBI has been in contact with us to provide services. We have a lot of people working on this. Um, you know, if you live in Delafield, try to limit how much travel you do. Uh, be aware there's places you're not going to be allowed to go because of locking down to try to contain the suspect uh, and just cooperate with us. Uh, keep the officers in your thoughts, uh, their families. Uh, and you said there was a, Har a Harland, Hartland and Delfield officer and then um, one armed suspect on the loose and then two others are in custody but they weren't directly involved in the shooting. Correct. Correct. And then as far as the Holiday and Express goes, is that like a center of the investigation? That's where the officers confronted the suspect. Oh, okay. Any description of this suspect that you guys are looking for? And if someone may spot someone acting suspicious, what do you recommend? Uh, it's fairly vague at this point. Uh, khaki pants, uh, a hoodie, a flat brimmed hat. Uh, and we believe the suspect is uh, a male white. Should residents in this area be concerned at this time? Well, yes, if you're in the area, yeah, you're going to want to be careful. You know, maybe just stay home today. <laughs> stay inside. Don't let any strangers in your house. Uh, if you see something suspicious, call.